Welcome to Anime Thoughts, where I, your anime thought, will lead you into discussion. Today's topic is a couple of romance anime on Netflix, and before you comment anything, yes, I know there are better ones. If you like the vid, just press that lovely button in red. Let's get started. Fireworks! A fair warning, this might not be for you. A lot of the reviews are either really low or really high. For starters, this is a movie, and a couple of them on this list will be movies. I don't know why I decided to do that, but whatever. The anime is about Nazuna, deciding he wants to run away from home and he wants an accomplice, egging on Naramichi. Together, they run into a couple of problems while trying to leave their old life. This is when the sci-fi part comes in. A magical orb, of all things, decides to help them out, allowing them to pursue the life of a runaway. Last thing about the anime is the plot is all over the place, and that's one of the main reasons why it's rated so low. Vampire Night. The anime is classified as a shoujo, meaning this will be like Fruits Basket, leaning more towards a feminine audience. The series, like the title suggests, has vampires in it. The vampires are part of the night class at Cross Academy. Most of the students in the day class have no idea that they are sharing a campus with vampires. The anime is about Yuki getting close to these vampires that she actually has a past with, and not that great of a past at that. Even though there is tension between these vampires, Yuki finds herself around them all the time. Definitely something you will like if you enjoy a little spice in your Romance Academy stories. Flavors of Youth! The anime is unique in the fact that it has three stories being told at once, which I found a little confusing and interesting at the same time. The title is basically what the anime is showing with these three characters. It shows them remembering the nostalgia of the past through encounters and bonds being formed. The anime is focusing on how they can bring back that excitement when they were just younglings living a carefree life. Also, it's based in China, so some of the customs might seem foreign to you, but it is a good anime. When you finish it, you will feel like you haven't gained much, or you may think, what was the point? But hey, that's life, you know? A whisker away. All right, this is kinda a weird romance anime that would probably only work in Japan. It's about Miyu that has kind of a crappy home life with her father and stepmother. She basically finds herself extremely interested in a boy named Kento, but unfortunately she is just overbearing and a little too hyper for his taste. She finds a way to communicate to him without him being on guard by becoming a cat called Toro. I know the plot is getting kind of weird, but bear with me. Now, after getting to know him in cat form, she realizes the only way to help him with his problems is to help him in her human form. Unfortunately, she's afraid that will ruin her good relationship with him. It's, uh, unique to say the least. Love, Chinubo, and other delusions. The anime is about two weebs struggling to act normal in high school. Yuta is one of those dudes that made up names for his attacks and acted like he was some mysterious hero that defeats evil in front of his classmates in middle school. After understanding that society thinks poorly of delusional human beings, he cleaned up his act as well as transferred to a high school that no one would know. Sadly, a girl named Rika, who goes to his high school, which is also his neighbor, refuses to give up on her made-up stories. She follows him around high school, giving him a bad reputation. Anyway, if that sounds like your cup of tea, give it a try, fellas. Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun. Chiyu has fallen in love with maybe the worst type of person. No, I'm not talking about a jerk, and no, I'm not talking about a guy that smells his own farts. I'm talking about a guy that is so self-absorbed and dense that no matter what she does, she can't get her feelings to reach him. His name is Nozaki, and he's a manga artist. In a misunderstood attempt of confessing her love to Nozaki, she becomes his manga assistant instead. The anime is comedy first and romance second. The show revolves around her trying her best to get her feelings through to him while helping him with his manga artist needs. Maid Sama. This is probably one of my favorite school romance animes I've seen. It's nothing insane. It's not trying to be anything that it's not. It's just simple, a nice, well-written school romance anime. Masaki is the first girl president in the school. Not only that, but she is also well-versed in Aikido, a type of martial arts, so she can kick your butt. She is seen as a perfect but very strict president that the boys are frustrated with. Due to her low popularity, any small mistake will be held over. Overhead. Unfortunately, she does 
have something that could get her in trouble. After school hours, she works as a maid in a cafe. Anyway, the short story of it is that one of the popular boys in high school figures out about her secret. She's terrified of what he will do with that information, or maybe he will just try to romance her up. Who knows? The Garden of Words. The anime is about two people that are having struggles in their life. Taco likes to draw sketches in his free time when he's not making shoes. He likes to go to this particular garden to ease his mind while relaxing and drawing. Important note to take is that he only does it in the raining season. This is when he meets Yukari. Yukari seems to be hiding her trouble, so he offers to make her new shoes for whatever. Uh, it's kind of a weird way to introduce himself, but he did start the conversation off. Anyway, they really enjoyed each other's company, escaping their worries from just living life. As the rainy season is ending, and they won't have that as an excuse to meet up, we can only hope they will try to stay in touch. A lull in the sea. Aight, so there are two types of people, the ones that like to breathe water and the ones that like to breathe oxygen. Well, the gods that gave the humans power to breathe underwater were kind of mad at the people that went to the surface, so they decided to remove the land breather's ability to breathe H2O. We follow the story of a couple of high school students that have to venture onto the surface to go to school. They run into difficulties with the two breathing factions from the deep-seated hatred they have for one another. Will there be bloodshed? Will there be romance? Probably neither because it's an anime. I hope you enjoy. Anohana! The story revolves around a guy named Jinta and his group of friends that turn their back to one another after one of their friends died named Minma. Jinta, unable to cope with the loss of his childhood friend, has become a shut in meat. He has skipped school and to make matters worse, he is now hallucinating Minma in his life. After Jinta, finds out that it's actually her spirit, he tries to bring his friends back together to help put her to rest. Um, so it's not necessarily considered a romance anime, but I didn't notice until the last minute, so this is just gonna be our little secret, okay? Alrighty, thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you haven't already, I would suggest subscribing or 2020 will be coming for you. I have a Discord if you lot are interested. I will be making a couple of new type of videos pretty soon. So I hope you guys can give me some good feedback. Let's reach 20k and I will see you weebs when I see ya.